I'm very pleased that for a number of years we've had the pilots program here specifically for first generation students. Uh, students that enter the pilots program uh, uh, have about the same freshman to sophomore retention uh, uh, than our, our general student body. That means they get intense counseling, they have a social network, uh, they learn study skills, and, and, and they, have, they have their own uh, sense of identity, which works out very, very well for us. We also have a program we started about five years ago called MapWorks that gives us a chance to get a feel for what students are experiencing in the first three weeks of the semester. But sometimes three weeks isn't enough. So I've instituted in the last 20 years or so lunches that I, that I personally host for new freshmen and, and new transfer st students from out of state uh, to try to get them connected. So the entire, my, my entire freshman class of Texas, the very first day of school, has lunch with the vice president and dean of the university. Not only learn who's here from Texas, but also get a feel for when we bring in some of our current students who have kind of been there, done that, they ch exchange emails and, and get a feel for rides at home. But more importantly, they start, I think they start talking about study groups and, and being connected during the week, but also on the weekends as well. And I do that for all of my out-of-state students who are entering the university. We have a mentoring program called GPS, or Guide to Professional Success. A student, you know, I've got 4,000 freshmen. They all have a chance because of the, na the general nature of our faculty and staff to volunteer their time and be a mentor to, to our student body, to members of our student body. And I take on 10 or 12 mentees every fall, and it's extremely rewarding. Uh, they get a chance to um, visit with me uh, several times during the semester. And I get a chance to hear, uh, get the pulse of what, what they're feeling. Uh, both in our residence halls or fraternity sororities or scholarship houses in the classroom, um, what it means for us to, to put the burden on them for, 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 for their own personal responsibilities in terms of making healthy decisions, it gives me a real sense of, of what's really happening in our young people's lives.